So I'm really, really honoured and privileged to be here this evening representing Coronation Street, obviously, but just to be a part of ITV is, is amazing. To be a part of uh, families such as ITV is such an honour, I think, because obviously they have been around for so long, but they're always kind of pushing the borderline, I think, with, with, with the talent that they have there for the television and always kind of um, breaking those that the fourth wall and, and reaching out to the audience. And that's what I love being part of Coronation Street as well, that we're so relatable uh, as a programme and as a soap that's been around for decades. I'm really proud to just be a part of everything that is relatable to ITV. Of course, in a world of ever-changing media, why do you think Cory still has such a special place in people's hearts? I think that it has heart still. It's um, it's a northern drama that um, still kind of relates to every kind of generation that well, whoever watches it, from a, a young teenager to still, you know, my 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 uh, grandma that absolutely loves it. Yeah. Particularly proud of the fact that I got to work with Alison King, who was um, it, it was obviously then my first big storyline that I did. I'd only been there about three months and found out she was going to be my secret sister, that, had, um, that my dad had kept this forever. And I think things like that are very relatable to, to, the, to the general public themselves, the British public, because we're always forever finding out that there's a start of deep secrets within our families. And I think that whenever there is a, a big storyline like that, to, to reach out to a family, then it's understanding to the heart of the show as well that people get it, and that, that we're not we're not um, we're not perfect. We're human. We're flawed. Mistakes happen, and we grow and we change. And yeah, I, I, that was a truly kind of like first challenge that I did whilst being Cornish Street, and I love being a part of that. Who's the least like their on-screen persona? Least like of their screen persona. I'm so new that I want to say me. <laughs> Um, everybody knows that I, um, I'm playing a lesbian and um, there's a, a huge amount of pressure on there to make sure that I do represent the LGBT community in, in, such a, in a good way, in a positive way. Um, but who's really unlike their character? I'm trying to think outside the box now because um, I, know, um, I know Paula Lane well and she's actually my, my dressing room buddy until she left. And she was not Kylie. She was not Kylie. Um, so mo mo that's, I'm going to say that's my, uh, my first person I'm going to think of, yeah. She mentioned there um, the LGBT aspect of your character. Yeah. Have you had feedback in response to how that's been received within the community? It's been a really positive, overwhelming... Um, there's been a really good support network for me. Uh, a lot of people around me who are writing into the show saying that they watch the programme and they watch Kate Connor and they are really, really grateful for her character because I think they've struggled. And I think that it is a huge, still, to this day, something that people have to battle with. And I don't think it should be taboo. I don't, and that's what's great about my character is that it's not. She's accepted and, and it, she's beloved by her family and that's what, how it should be. Have you got a message to all the fans out there? Oh my goodness, just thank you for supporting Kate Connor and I'm thrilled to be part of Coronation Street. Please keep watching and um, I'm hope there for a long time.